Hi, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on a bell and switch on all notifications so you are notified when we are uploading new videos, which we are doing every day. So the next step, in order to save our drinks to our Firebase, let's just quickly jump to our Firebase and see our database here. So our database has some uh, collections, which are going to be here. And then each collection, imagine the collection is like a folder. Each collection is going to have a document inside. So this is like a file. So you can uh, put the file into a folder. Now this is how Firebase Firestore works. You can have a collection, then the next step is going to be document, and then it goes again collection, document, etc. And it continues this way. In our application, we are going to have four different collections. First, uh, in the first folder, for example, we are going to save all our users. In the next one, it's called menu. We are going to save our menu there, and we are going to retrieve it from there. A third one, we are going to save our orders. So whenever we create some order, it's being saved there. So our um, shop can retrieve them from there and fulfill the old order. And the last one is going to be a basket. So each user is going to have a basket under its name uh, where he can add or remove different drinks. And once you uh, put all the drinks in your basket, you create an order and your basket becomes just automatically empty. So you have nothing in your basket. So it's ready for your next order. Okay, um, in order to make our life a bit easier because we're going to access these uh, four different uh, folders all the time, we're going to create a file which is going to uh, contain a link to each folder. So how the Firebase works, is basically we will have a link to the each folder we are going to create. So whenever we want to uh, read or write something to that folder, we are going to use all the path of the file. So let's um, create a command N to create a new file. Uh, it's going to be a Swift file next. And I'm going to call this Firebase reference. Click enter and we're going to import Firebase Firestore. And once we have imported it, I'm going to create an enum. And this is going to be called F collection reference. And this is going to be a conform to string protocol because um, our cases are going to be basically a string. So we have user folder and we have menu and we have order and finally we have our basket. Okay, so these are the four different objects uh, folders we are going to have in our database and now I'm going to create a function which is going to be called Firebase reference. And here we are going to pass a string, basically telling which of these we want to access. So the string is going to be called collection reference. And it's going to be a type of F collection reference we just created, which is an enum. And this is going to return a collection reference. The collection reference type is from Firebase Firestore. If you command click on it, you can jump to definition and you can see that this is inside the Firebase uh, files that we have created through CocoaPods. Um, once we create this function, it will give you an error because here we have promised to return a Firebase reference, a collection reference, and we haven't done anything yet. So what I'm going to say is return, and then we're going to say Firestore, which is again part of the Firebase Firestore we just imported. Then we can say um, 
Firestore, we are going to uh, initialize one and then we are going to access a collection and the collection here we are going to pass a collection path which is as you can see a string. So the collection path is going to be our collection reference. We can paste it here dot row value. Row value is basically the value of the case which in our case is user, menu, order and basket. So we pass this to the function and it returns to us a link to a specific location in our database. So this we can use anytime we want without typing all this long line here and uh, putting the user menu order or basket or any other location in our database manually. So this is one of the files that is going to help us. The other one is the constants file. So let's create another file, command N, Swift file. And this is going to be constants, just create it. And here we are going to save some keys for our uh, Firebase in order to save them there. So the first thing I'm going to put like a drink here. So this will be the keys for our drink. And then we have our order. And we have our uh, F user object. Okay, so we have these three. Uh, the basket I'm not going to put as uh, separately because the keys that we are going to put in uh, in this tree will be used for our basket as well. So let's start from our drink. Uh, in order for you to understand how it's easily easier to make a drink, uh, the, the keys is by looking at the struct or uh, at the model of our drink. So we need to have an ID, a name, an image name, category, description and the price. Uh, each item here we need to have a key in order to save it to our Firestore. So under drinks I'm going to create these keys. So we say public let and I'm going to say k id is equals and then we just put id. Then um, we have our name so let me just quickly copy this, paste it a few times. Uh, why I'm using a small letter K and then the name all in capitals is just uh, easier for me and other developers, some of, not all of them, but some of them are using. So we, when you have a K in the beginning, it means that you are, there is a constant there. Um, so we say K, then it goes name, all in capital, and this is going to be represented of the name. So whenever I write k name, it means I'm writing name here. But the difference is, uh, if you're asking why you just don't write a name, is if I go here and if I say k, let me just build, command p to build this and it will give me an error because I have same constant name here. But if we build this and then I type Let's just finish uh, with this until it's building. So then we have our K price. This is going to be price. And then we have K description. Um, and we have the category. And we need one more is K image name, which is our image name. Okay, so we have one, two, three, six. So these are the representation of our six items we have here. So just uh, command B to build all constants file. This will take few seconds to finish the build and once it's done we can just type k and id and it's going to com auto complete or 
k name or k price all the time it's going to auto complete this for us all right it was successfully peeled so if i write something here like k name you can see it auto completes our description and it brings here but this is the reason why we are using constants it's easier to get them and you don't have to worry about typos there okay um let's uh let's go to our constants file while we are here i am also going to create a reference to my user defaults so i'm going to say public let user defaults is going to be equals to user defaults dot standard so then uh, we have everywhere access to our user defaults because we're going to use user defaults in order to save our currently logged in user into our uh, user defaults so this will give us an easy access to our user defaults there okay um the rest for my uh f user i'm going to copy and paste i'm not going to type this you got the idea what we are doing is the email first name last name full name current user um, then we have a full address a phone number and onboard and for our order let me just copy and paste this as well the keys we have drink IDs we have owner ID whoever puts the owner the order which is will be the user ID and we have a uh, customer ID and we have K uh, the, the amount of our order okay uh, so let's go to our drinks here what we are going to do now is to write a function that will take our drink data our menu here and save it to our Firestore since now we have all these uh, keys uh, as constants created so we are going to have two functions here first one remember we are going to convert the drink into a uh, key value pairs so we can save it to our firebase because you cannot just take the drink object and save it to firebase it's not going to work and the second function is going to be a function that is going to go through our array take every item every drink in our case from our array convert it into a string value key value pairs and then save it to our firebase so let's start from the function that we are going to provide the drink object to it and it's going to convert it to a key value pairs so say func drink dictionary from and then we are going to pass a drink here which is a type of drink and this is going to return a string as key and any object as the value so let's uh, say return so because we have promised to return this item here so we say return I'm going to create uh, an S dictionary with objects and pay attention object for key and objects which is plural for keys and this is quite handy function which will uh, where we will put our objects and then our keys which is the constants we created and this will convert it to a string uh, any here so in order to fix this you can click and fix and we just say that this is going to be a string any as a result because we're creating a dictionary and we promise here to return a key value pairs so the objects is going to be you can create a parenthesis here uh, square brackets and I'm going to put my drink dot ID comma then I'm going to say drink dot name comma drink dot image name comma drink dot category and remember the category is an enum of category but we need to have a specific string uh, 
to save it to our Firebase because the category we cannot save it to Firebase. So I'm going to say dot row value, which will be the value of specifically selected item there. So in our case, it's just a string. And then we say drink dot description. And finally, drink dot price. These are our objects that we want to save. And now we need to tell our dictionary the keys we want to save them. So the keys are, as you can see, array of items that conform to NS copying protocol. Let's just create this as well. And let me just put this here so it's easier to read. So the keys, we are going to start by the line here goes so the first key will be for the id second for name third for image name etc so the key for id is going to be k id and we need to say that this is as ns copying then we say k name as ns copying this is just required for our dictionary to work. So I'm going to copy this and we're going to paste it multiple times. So I say K image name as NS copying comma. Then we have our K category as NS copying and K description as NS copying and finally K price as NS copying and there is no comma at the end because this is our last line here. So let's just have it a separate line here so it's more readable. Control I to fix the lines here. So we have all our objects and the keys that we want to save this. So we have the values and keys here. So every time we want to get access to a name, we just say we get the key name and it will return the value there. So once we have this function here ready, which takes a drink and converts it to a string and value as a key a string and any object as a value because here we have mainly string and the price is actually double. Then we're going to create another function called this func create menu this function is going to be used only once we just put our menu there and forget about it and what this function is going to do is take our drink data go through every item in the array and save it to our firebase so we say for drink in drink data And this is a for loop that is going to go through our drink data array. And once we have a drink, we can convert this drink into a string as a key and any object as a value. So we're going to access our Firebase reference. And then I'm going to say dot menu because we're going to save our menu here. And then I'm going to say add document we want to save a document in our menu folder, which currently doesn't exist, but it will be automatically created for us. And once we add a document, you can see that it says that it's going to require a data, which is string any, which is fine. We have a function that is going to do this for us. And here, in order to put a string any, I'm going to call my function string the a dictionary from drink and here basically I'm passing the drink here so for every drink item we are going to create a drink dictionary and then save it to our firebase so let's command p here just to make sure everything is working there are no errors in our code and in our next lecture we are going to actually call this function run the code in order to create our menu for now our Firebase database is empty.